way to go then. see how much it is <laughs> right this is quite good isn't it um, obviously got places to park your van this is motorhomes only area quite impressed with that there is a service area there and I think you have to pay extra for that empty your WC air to service very good oh you pay you can pay there price list on jet on whatever a jet on is presumably you have to pay in advance or something this hook up electric hook up wow that's really good quite sure how you use the electric hook up there but wow very impressed so this is sand hill drive motorhome park i'll just have a look what it says on the Thing. This is a pay and display facility for motorhome parking only. Uh, it's 50p for each 60 minute um, period. Minimum payments 50p, maximum stay 72 hours. Uh, Air to service, charging for leisure batteries and grey water only. Chemical toilets must not be emptied at this point. Dedicated sluices located close to the bin store. Okay, so there's toilet empty somewhere else. We paid £2.50 uh, from, well, it's about half, no, it's about one o'clock till about ten to six, I think. Well, it must, must have been ten to two, I suppose. So what's that, four hours? Yeah, no, very impressed. Well done, Northern Ireland. The beach is this way. Well, Mr Google says it is. It's not exactly beach weather though, is it? No, no, we would walk along the front. I think it brings you out by Port Rush Station. Come here. It's quite an ornate station building, isn't it? it? Says it's ten past one. Oh, ten past one, yeah. And we're down to the town centre. Well, there was a sign, but it was sort of seemed to be pointing directly at the station. It's a town centre. Yeah, well, that's also the heck of the harbour as well, isn't it? It's like a little amphitheatre there. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Go in here. Like the bow like of a, a ship, that's clever, yeah. isn't it? I was just going to say that. building something here, I don't know what it is. I think we need to go down there. What? I think we need to go down there if you want to see Oh, the steps the here. Oh yeah, this closed off. They're closed. Right. 
I think they're building some sort of ride here. That's what's going on. Spray it. Oh, God, Poppy. <laughs> oh, he lost it then. And Jenny knows where she's going. Well, I don't, but it, you have no idea whatsoever. You're so. not getting ratty with me, are you? <laughs> It's only taken five days or whatever it is. <laughs> well, it's actually, it's nearly a week. <laughs> so I've done pretty well then. Yeah. Well, it definitely looks like the beach. You can see a bit of beach. You know what we haven't brought, don't you, pups? Puppy's ball. Yeah. Okay. I suppose we can walk that way and get into the rest of the town, can't we? Yeah, very pretty though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you walk this way, you're going to end up so the direction we've come from? We've come from over there somewhere. Oh, somewhere over there, all right. Yeah, very nice. It's 15th of September, dog control order. No dogs allowed on this section of beach between Castle Erin Point and the harbour. Okay, sorry about that, Pops. <laughs> He's sulking now. <laughs> Which actually doesn't know, isn't it? Tell him what you think of that, Pops, eh? <laughs> Port Rush th authorities. <laughs> he probably shouldn't go on bits further up there. Yeah. Well, it says something I... between the harbour and the Erin Point. I don't know if that's Erin Point over there. Yeah. And that's definitely the harbour there. Yeah. Never mind. We didn't bring your ball anyway, Pops. No. You want something to eat? Coffee or something? Coffees, yeah, we know. Nice. Yeah, let's have a look at the harbour. Pop Poppy, come here. Water, water then. Oh. Sorry, Pops. No, just come here now. Jenny says I should be doing that now. Oh, I don't really fancy that and these winds and tides. Probably never see you again if you had one of those. No. Let's see, you could book me up for some lessons. Shall I book you a session then? <laughs> to be quick though, because we're leaving hmm? tomorrow. You'd have to be quick because le we're leaving tomorrow. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, Port Rush Harbour. A little bit about Port Rush Harbour. Just welcome to the second in the series of four panels. You see the first one. It might be that there. Okay. He so said this man-made harbour was designed by John Rennie and completed in 1827, a sheltered alternative to the nearby river port of Coleraine. The harbour had previously consisted only of a little dock seen to the right of the footbridge. Well, down there then. Uh, within the dock is a set of stone steps known as the Pilgrim's Steps, believed to have been used by immigrants boarding small boats to sail for the New World. Uh, it says from the 1850s, regular cross-channel steamers began to use the harbour. The Laird Line operated popular summer excursions from Port Rush to Ardrossan on the Ayrshire coast. Lord Le Leitrim's ships also called on their way to and from ports in Donegal. Services ceased with the outbreak of the First World War. Some of the regular ships such as Hazel and Ganeamore are remembered in street names in Port Rush. In addition to fishing and passenger service, harbour was used by the local quarry for the export of stone for a short time it was a container port the branch line ran, ran from the railway station to the quayside. Okay, much of the harbour is given over to leisure craft and a base for the RNI. That was HMS Rodney at Port Rush. <laughs> Fishing boats in 1968 and the Hazel at Port Rush in 1910. Very nice. It's the same Doing thing. The same isn't thing, it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like saying it twice. Yeah. 
It's a pity the weather's not up to much, but there's the stone pilgrim steps. <laughs> Heading for the new world. I'm just gonna walk up just gonna walk up to the town centre. See what's up there. Another memorial here. Quite a few motorhomes down on the front there. Yeah, quite a few. Brick sculpture, Antrim Gardens. Bricks were carved before they're fired and taken apart, numbered and reconstructed on site. Wow, that's quite something, isn't it? Despi depicts aspects of the history of Port Rush and the archaeological site at Antrim Gardens, reminiscent of a watchtower or lighthouse, references to a fortified monastic settlement. The remains of a spiral staircase were discovered by archaeologists on the site. Carved image in spiral around the piece includes references to people who came to this part of the north coast throughout history. It includes the Vikings, Cistercian monks throughout the Spanish Armada, and traders in clipper ships. Glazed blue panels are based on finds from the archaeological dig, shards of Roman and Modi medieval win and Roman and medieval pottery, a stone cross, and a large fish skeleton. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Getting blown <laughs> over. Blown on top of poppy then. God. This is part financed by the European Union. Part financed. Okay. Right, so local history around. Go on, let me not do all of that, are you? 7,000 to 800 BC. Three. Wow, almost 10,000 years ago, Arna's first settler arrived from what is now southwest Scotland, which is where we've come from no, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Chalk cliffs on the north coast were a good supply of flint for tools and weapons. Mesolithic pe people followed a nomadic life of hunting and gathering. Well, 1150, 1500, late medieval period. An important medieval port known to Breton and Spanish fishermen and Scottish and English merchants. And it goes on about 19th century. Port Rush came with the arrival of steamships and railways. That gave rise to development of Port Rush as a holiday destination because the Victorians believed that swimming and bathing in seawater could cure many ills. Right. Do they believe that getting <laughs> absolutely soaking wet cured any ills? <laughs> right, I think, ah. I think we'll move. Perhaps. I think we're going to move. 